Hey everybody, how's it? Aloha, this is Jeeps here, your old composer here on the Decomposer Lounge, dissecting your suggested tracks. And coming hot, coming off hot from uh, my Mastodon uh, reaction on Friday, I got a lot of people who requested Clutch, and uh, I've never heard of Clutch. I know, I know, people are going, what? But truth be told, my head was in the sand on the other side of the music industry as a composer. So I'm going to be doing X-ray vision. I want to thank you guys for your suggestions. If this is not the best of the batch that everyone's suggesting, please suggest more. You've already been here long enough. You know that I circle back into the bands and uh, continue to rinse into their talents and their songwriting and learn more about you guys uh, telling me about the bands, such as Clutch. So let's get ready to do this. I want to thank you guys for your support. Uh, thank you guys. I have uh, quite a few people are visiting me over at Patreon. Um, you know, there's a bunch of work over there that I've been doing. I just did a live stream. If you want to check that out, um, even if it's just for a month, come on in, say hey. You know, you don't have to stay the whole time. I mean, if you do, killer, cool beans. Also, if you'd like to support me with a cup of coffee, uh, you know that if you see any ads here, the channel's not monetized for me. And so if you want to buy me a cup of coffee, the link will be down below. The link will be down below. I should get a shirt, shouldn't I? The link should be, will be down below. Uh, for the uh, headsets, the coffee, clutches, Spotify, and also Patreon. All right, guys, let's do this. Clutch X-ray vision. All right. I can't believe I let it go this long without me stopping, but I was so into the groove and everything like that, and I was just like going, my God, listen to those r the riffing that is going on there, and the drive and stuff like that. Fully reminds me, I don't know when the band started. Um, I, I believe, I, 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 I don't know. Uh, but it totally reminds me of like full on stoner rock kind of metal, uh, or kind of a, that, that heavy rock uh, kind of, Deep Purple kind of vibe, uh, Black Sabbath kind of vibe and stuff like that. Um, that whole, you know, in my mind, I'm listening to this and I'm just going, this, this thing is so driving. The sound of the guitars and everything, the engineering, everything is also reminiscent of that 70s kind of vibe. But it's like the purest of rock that I can recall in my soundtrack of life for me. You know, for my, sh you know, l little little window of, of exposure that I had through the 70s. And then I kind of missed... Uh, a little bit of the late 80s and 90s in rock, except for um, uh, when the grunge period came back in. But um, I'm, I can't help but think, because I've been just kind of starting to learn how to play a little more riffy stuff on this new 7 string that I bought. I'm thinking, I'm going, man, what if that was played with today's sound and stuff like that? You know, But then it would change that, wouldn't it? It would, it would become a different song. And this is just all just, just full metal jacket power you know, rock going on there. I love the lyrics. I, I, you know me, I don't catch the lyrics all the time, but apparently, um, the, I think there was a mention there of Ronald Reagan or something like that. 
Um, I love the tone of his voice. Like I said, this is all just pulling me back into the 90s and everything like this. But there's that riffiness, and also there's a really super cool turnaround in the verse. It splits the verses. So you have that real straight, you know, more straight driving while the vocals are being sung in the verse. But then there's almost like this, this bar and a half, it sounds like, of like they lean into it and just fully riff or he pulls out for a second and then continues the verse, kind of comes around, drops it back in. And then they hit us in the head again for the, for the hook. And then the hook gets much riffier. You know, there hasn't been any really, you know, long held out chords or anything as of yet. Uh, but this is just, this is just a riff salad going on here. Okay, let me get this back a little bit. All right. tell me that this was uh, a lead into another song I uh, like if it just kind of because it seemed like it was about to turn into another track here and if, if that's what was gonna happen I apologize uh, for that uh, you know the whole engineering aspect of it too just reminds me of that just full-on power rock sound of that 70s and, I, and maybe that was the I don't, I don't know when this song was released so I don't if if this was the organic aspect of like saying no sorry guys we're doing rock this is what it sounds like this is what it's going to be all about but I love the um uh the riff that's in the hook you know that's that would be like equivalent to a chord you know turnaround but then obviously that riff that kind of lifts and kicks it back up and keeps it going. And then, um, you know, everything is in unison with the bass and everything, so that's all super tight. The drum sounds fantastic. This kind of engineering is kind of something that, because I've been listening so much to more of the super progressive metal uh, and, this, and the super genres of, you know, from Periphery to Tim Henson to um, all kinds of, of more of the progressive engineering of the last 10 years, the drum techniques and engineering have changed exponentially, you know, obviously, but this is just total 100% raw. I can see how the Mastodon fans really locked into this, um, you know, just because of the sound and the energy and everything like that. So tell me a little bit more about Clutch uh, and also suggest other songs that you think I need to check out. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna kind of go through a little bit of their catalog because this just kind of gave me, like, I got really pumped about this, so I'm going to take a look at a couple tracks. You know, hopefully they're not the ones that you asked because literally when you guys send me links, I'm like going, oh, please, I hope I didn't hear it because I just like doing these raw just reactions here because that's just what this is all about and stuff. But I'm, I'm going to, as soon as I'm done editing this, I'm going to peek through a couple of other things because... Uh, uh, that was absolutely mental. All right, guys, thank you so much for your support. Um, I have a new band also coming uh, maybe maybe a little later today. I'm not too sure. I'm in a really good mood. If not, tomorrow. Um, ISIS, I think, we're going to have tomorrow. And uh, So anyhow, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Once again, the link is below for the cup of coffee if you see so fit, the headsets, the Spotify, and also my Patreon. Just go ahead and click on the Patreon visit, see if it's something you want to check out. All right, guys, take care. Have a killer day. All right. Ah, oh.